Hey, how's everybody doing, man? What you guys think? You, you guys liking the view? Hey, I work hard, man. If I can't get you guys, hold up, cut the beat, please. Can we cut the beat? Can somebody cut the beat, please? <coughs> All right. Um, welcome to the uh, Bobby Jones Show, aka what we talking about podcast guys um what do you guys think you guys liking the view if i can't give you guys a good show i can, I can at least give you guys a good view <laughs> you dig what i'm saying but um cheers guys cheers to health and wealth um thanks for everybody supporting thanks for everybody supporting and watching the show um running the numbers up i really do appreciate it guys uh from the bottom of my heart thank you thank you cheers Toast, health and wealth, guys. Success. Woo! That's good right here. This mocktail right here. I'm telling you guys, uh, mocktail is my new thing, guys. Um, I really do enjoy it. Um, you know what I mean? Wow, it's amazing. You ain't gonna beat it. You ain't gonna beat it. I'm glad the I'm glad the sun went down, guys. I'm not gonna lie, it was um, it was getting kind of hot. Trying to set everything up, uh, trying to find a spot, trying to find a campsite. You know what I mean? Like, ooh, it was not easy. I tell you that it was not easy. Um, everything's all booked up. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. So, I was running around like a chicken with my head chopped off, trying to find something decent. But um, you know what I mean? It was just it's hard. You know what I mean? But we all set up, ready to go. Um, what we talking about? What we talking about? Um, you know what I mean? Um, we got a few stuff, like I said. I just want to, um, you know what I mean? Um, touch base with you guys with a few stuff. You know what I mean? Um, you know, what? Uh, I like to talk about everything with this show, right? So you guys are going to be seeing me bouncing around and just, you know what I mean, from topic to topic. It's just something that, um, you know what I mean, I want to, you know, like I said, we, we talk about everything, life in general, you know, whatever's happening in the world, we're going to talk about it, you know what I mean, so, and that's what it is, so pretty much, um, no, thanks, uh, thanks for everybody for, um, you know what I mean, for subscribing and uh, liking the videos, man, very appreciated though, I've been working, been trying to stay busy, trying to stay focused. Uh, trying to be creative, you dig what I'm saying, and it's, it's just, it's hard, man, this YouTube stuff, uh, it's not that easy, like how you think it is, but, um, you know what I mean, I'm constantly trying to create content, trying to be different, but at the same time, trying to be original, you dig what I'm saying, so it's just, it is what it is, um, so, um, when life gives you a hundred reasons to break down in a cry show life that you have a million reasons to smile and laugh and stay strong um i think that's all very true very very true guys because you know what life is hard stuff is gonna happen but uh you have to what's the call you have to stay strong you gotta smile through it even though even though when you're like you know going through it everybody going through something in life facts don't matter who it is, you know what I mean? Nobody's life is perfect. We all go through it. Relationships, family problems, whatever the case is, we all go through it. You dig what I'm saying? So life is hard, you know what I mean? Um, this time you want to cry and da-da-da-da, get away and break down and cry. But you got to stay strong. You got to put a smile on your face. That's true because that's what I do sometimes. Even though, um, you know, things may not go my way or whatever the case is, uh, I still try to stay strong. And I still try to um, be happy and put a smile on my face and um, still give a good energy to people. You dig what I'm saying? I don't want to rub people the wrong way. And, um, you know, it's just, it's hard. But, you know what I mean? We got to, as, as um, you know, human beings, we still have to, um, you know, just like, just for example, if you're out work, you're having a bad day, whatever job you're doing, you're dealing with a customer service, you still got to put that smile on your face still, right? You know what I mean? It's just what it is. So... Yeah, it's hard, but um, stay strong, guys. Stay strong, people. You know what I mean? Uh, that's what it is. Staying positive. You know what I mean? Um, word. 
uh, bring back $10 Chinese food and a $600 apartment and $20 the full tank. $20 full tank. Remember them good old days when stuff was cheap? You can run around with $100. And, um, you know, I'm all day. 100 bucks will last you all day. You dig what I'm saying? Chinese food, uh, full tank. You get to go out and grab yourself, um, you know what I mean, uh, some drinks or whatever it is, a 2020. Oh, uh, you dig what I'm saying? An apartment was $600. Um, you're just not going to beat that, guys. You're just not going to beat that. I mean, the good old days now is like, you know what I mean? A decent apartment is like eighteen, two thousand $2,000 a month. So, man, it's like time have changed. It cost me $116 to fill my tank today. So, no, it's um, the price went up. The price went up, guys, and that's just uh, it's a bummer. But um, what's the call? Uh, yes, uh, you ain't gonna beat that guy. You, you dig what I'm saying? Now, now it's like a hundred bucks. Well, you, <laughs> you ain't going over a hundred bucks. You're gonna need at least two, three hundred bucks if you really wanna have a good time with some friends and stuff like that. You know? So it is what it is. Hold on one second. Okay, so All right, guys. Um, Go to war against the man in the mirror and don't come back until you win. And that's, uh, that's real talk though. I think I, re I really do uh, believe in that, right? Because um, you are your worst enemy. You, you know what I mean? You are your worst enemy pretty much. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's just like, um, you gotta believe in yourself, whatever the case is, you know what I mean? You're gonna believe negative. You, don't, you ain't gonna believe in yourself. Then stuff is going stuff is going to go downhill, right? It's just what it is. But um, you know, um, like I said, you know what I mean, it's just you're going to war against yourself, pretty much. It is what you know. What I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it is. Those law, you you think positive, um, you 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 surround yourself with certain people with energy, high vibration, and guess what? You're gonna win. So I mean, I think I think that goes with um, you know, surround yourself with the right kind of people, with the right kind of people. You know what I mean? Because, um, like, like, like they said, you hang around with somebody that ain't about nothing. Guess what? You're not gonna be about nothing. You know, you hang around with somebody with just low vibration. Um, I was mad and da 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 da. The case go on, right? The list goes on. And you know, what I mean, you're not gonna be happy. You know what I mean? So it's just like uh, surround yourself with you know the uh, the right kind of people, bring your energy up. You know what I mean? And just that's what it is. You know, you gotta start thinking positive. Put the right. Put the right kind of stuff in your body too. I think that's very important. You know, what I mean, the right kind of, um, the right kind of diet. You know, what I mean, in your body because um, you are what you eat. They say that, right? You are what you eat. If you eat crappy food, you put the crappy stuff in your body, and guess what? You gonna feel crappy. You gonna feel crappy. You gonna feel like you know, what I mean, you ain't, you ain't got the, the right kind of energy to do whatever it is. So it just, that's what it is. You know, what I mean, um, pretty much. I can respect any person who can put their ego aside and say I made a mistake, I apologize, and I'm correcting my correcting the, the my behavior, right? Uh, I think that's 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 true though. I I feel like you know what? Um, I feel like that's just growing up, you know. What I mean, being an adult, but even the adults still, like I said, you know, being mature. You know what I mean? Some people gotta realize that, um, you know what I mean? If you're wrong, you're wrong, you know what I mean? Learn how to apologize and learn how to uh, be, a, you know what I mean? Uh, take responsibility, pretty much, you dig what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna lie, um, you know, everybody was once there, you feel what I'm saying? Like, always thinking you're right, you're never wrong, you never see it, you know, the other way, it's always your way. And I know a few people just like that, you know what I mean? Like, always um, can't admit when they wrong and just, you know, uh, take full responsibility. You know what I mean? I think it's very important, you know what I mean? So I respect anybody that does that, that can just, um, you know what I mean? Say, hey, I'm wrong, I apologize. Because for me, I have no problem uh, giving an apology. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. That's like, you, you feel what I'm saying? I, and I learned that, you know what I mean? To me, it's like, I don't take no, um, I have no pride and ego, whatever it is, or maybe a little bit of ego, but you know, it's like you sometimes you just got to admit when you're wrong. You dig what I'm saying? So that's what it is with me. Like, I have no problem apologizing and 
manning up and just uh, standing up to my, um, you know, to what I'm, to what I have caused and done. You know what I'm saying? And just being an adult about that. So I think that's very important. You know what I mean? For people to um, start, um, you know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? Taking full, re taking full responsibility. Uh, keep watering yourself. You're growing. The next version of you is powerful. And I think this is very true of uh, what I'm going through right now. It's just like, um, you know, I made a lot of changes in my life. And, um, you know, it's like, um, keep watering yourself, right? <laughs> so pretty much it's like, you know, take care of yourself, believe in yourself, you know what I mean? And then, um, because every single day, right, you're growing, whether you, uh, whether you believe it or not, it's just, um, it's just what it is, you know what I mean? It's like, you're growing, and um, staying positive, um, having the right kind of energy is like, is very important, because, um, I'm learning and I'm growing, you know what I mean? We, we never stop, we never stop, what's it called? We never stop growing and we never stop learning, to be honest. You know what I mean? We're always learning new stuff every single day we learn. I'm learning every single day doing this YouTube stuff. I'm constantly learning, so it's like you never stop learning and believing in yourself because, um, um, you know what I mean? Um, we teaching each other, we learn from each other, to be honest. We learn from each other and that's what's very important. It's like, we learn from each other and we're all growing. Everybody is, is a journey for everybody. So I think that's very true. You know what I mean? So just keep on believing, keep on um, being positive, and um, you know what I mean? Like I said, um, you're growing. You're gonna be powerful. You know what I mean? I believe that I'm getting there, and I believe that um, you know me quitting certain things in my life and stuff like that. It's like, you know what I mean? I'm growing. All I'm trying to do is be the best version of myself. That's all I'm trying to do, guys. You dig what I'm saying? So it's like. Um, you know, I feel good. I feel great. You know what I mean? I feel the love. Everything changes. This is true what they say. Like, um, if you want to make a change, you gotta. It starts from you making the change, and everything else around you change. And that's and that's so true because I I totally feel that now that I made the change in my life, everything around me changed. The people, the friends, the energy. Um, the list goes on, you know, so it's just, I'm on a different type of time right now, and you know what, I'm not complaining, I love it, I enjoy it, it's a journey, um, yeah, it's crazy, you know. Ooh, that's good stuff right there, I ain't gonna lie, wow. Alright guys, we're gonna touch on a few more topics, and then we're gonna wrap it up, um, Uh, life's, life become more meaningful when you realize the simple fact that you'll never get the same moment twice. And I think that's very true, you know what I mean? Um, you know what I mean? Everything that I do now is just like, um, I appreciate it, you know? Like, doesn't matter where I'm at, vacation, you know what I mean? The moments that I spend with families and friends and stuff like that is like, you know, you have to, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I take it, um, I take it serious, you know what I mean? Everything I do now, because it's, you know, everything means something. Whatever you do, how you uh, portray yourself, and how you uh, present yourself and stuff like that, right? So it's like, hey, man, it's just, um, you know what I mean? Um, you have to enjoy life. It's a beautiful thing once you understand it, you know what I mean? When you, um, um, you know, around stuff. When you, um, you know what I mean, spinning around certain people, you want to make the best memory, you know what I mean? I try to, um, I try to be positive as much as possible, guys, you know what I mean? Um, but it's hard sometimes, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It, it, it's hard being positive, you know what I mean? Cause like I said, it's easier to be negative and give a negative energy than to give a positive energy, you know what I mean? Put a smile on your face and, you know what I mean? Stuff like that, right? It's easy to be, you know, to be a jackass and, you know, part of my language, you know what I mean? Just to be, um, I don't care. It's harder, sh it's harder to show love and appreciation and um, keeping that uh, high vibration energy. It's hard, you know what I mean? But, um, but I, you know what I mean? I'm not going to lie. There's, there's times in my life where, um, you know, I, I was given a certain, I was given a certain, 
kind of energy, you know what I'm saying, and just, and just like, wasn't really myself, to be honest, you, you know what I mean? So it was like, um, I didn't I didn't really take life that serious, you know what I mean? The stuff that I do, you know what I mean, and stuff like that, um, uh, I didn't really care, I mean, I guess, I don't know, but, um, you know, I, I mean, it was, it was meaningful to me, but um, I feel like, you know, it was just like whatever, but where I'm at now in life, I do um, take it more serious, you know what I mean? And it, and it, the trips is the time that I spent. My, Cause you know, I think it also, it, it's also that I feel like I am getting older. I, don't, I really don't want to talk about ages and getting older and stuff like that. Cause I don't celebrate birthday. I don't believe in the age thing, whatever it is. You know what I mean? Cause I, I, I got the thing in my head where, all right, I'm 42 years old right now, right? And this once upon a time in my life where I think about age, you know, I'm, I'd be like, I'm 40 years old. Uh, 10 years from now, I'll be 50. 10 years from now, I'll be 60, you know. Then I'm like, I'm getting old. And, I, and I'm telling you guys something that I didn't like that, and the, the thought of getting old. You dig what I'm saying? It's like, who want to get old, right? It's not going to be cool. You, you're eventually going to be a grandpa. You're going to be old have somebody wiping your butt and wearing diapers and the list goes on. So um, that kind of, um, I kind of had like a, I kind of had an anxiety about that, about um, about aging, right? So I'm like, why am I counting for it? Why am I counting my age? Why am I celebrating birthday? And I got that from Prince, you know what I mean? To a few people that are just talking about it. I'm like, hey, it makes a lot of sense. It's like, you had one birthday, it was the day that you were born, right? And it's like, why do we keep on celebrating? And I'm not knocking anybody that celebrate birthdays and stuff like that. No, it's all good, you know what I mean? I'm not judgmental. I'm just saying, as for me, I don't believe at this point in my life celebrating it, you know what I mean? My kids want to do it, and that's cool. But as far as for me, I don't think that I'm, um, you know, I, I mean, I'm, I used to, but since I made my change, I don't. I don't celebrate no more. This this is the first year of my life, um, like I said, that I didn't celebrate birthday. I didn't care for it. You know what I mean? I just didn't want to think about it. I don't want to think of my age. I just, you know what I mean? I just want to live, and I just want to live free and just enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why why count? You know what I mean? And, you know, and stuff like that. I mean, it's cool you celebrate it in the right way, but I didn't really believe in just the singing and lighting a candle. That was, to me, it was kind of weird. You know, like just watching certain deals and, having them explain about it, it was like, eh, it's, that is kind of weird, you know what I mean? So that's just me, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, I don't celebrate for that reason, but I, but to go back to the topic where like, um, you know, it's like, I don't celebrate it and I feel like we are getting old, right? Whether you like it or not. So it's like, I think the older that I got, it's like, I started to take life more serious. And plus, like I said, I don't drink. I don't drink and I don't smoke, and uh, to me, like, I have a clear, ver uh, clear vision of life. You know what I mean? And just seeing thing, seeing thing through. And uh, to me, it's like, yes, taking life more serious and stuff like that. And no, I love it. I, I ain't gonna lie, guys. I've been sober for seven months, going on eight, just drinking a mocktail, and I feel great. I feel great. Um, I'm in the best shape of my life. You know what I mean? I'm very happy. No cap. I'm very happy. You know what I mean? I enjoy it. And I just take it more serious with the, you know, families and friends. I enjoy time. You know what I mean? To me, it's like, yes, I really do enjoy it. And, um, you know, it's just like, it's precious, man. You know, my kids are my kids are getting bigger. You know, my daughter got a job. She's 16 years old, working at Star Starbucks. My son's 11, turning 12. It's like... You know, we're, we're, we're growing, you feel what I'm saying? So to me, it's like, I very really enjoy the time that I'm spending with my family and close friends and stuff like that. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, nah, man, it's like it is. So to me, it's like, I very really enjoy good, I enjoy good company. I enjoy good company, you know what I mean? Just being around good people, um, good energy, and that that's what makes me happy, to be honest. So... Yes, yeah, so like I said, it's very meaningful, you know what I mean? Because sometimes, like, you know, you just never know what's going to happen. Um, spending with your family and friend, you know what I mean? Life is short. Stuff happens, you know what I mean? So it's like being around certain people. It's like you enjoy it and, you know what I mean, just take the time just to love and appreciate certain people because, um, you know what I mean, it just you never know what happened, you know what I mean? So like I said, um, yeah.
So we're gonna do one more uh, topic, guys, and then we're gonna wrap it up because um, it's getting a little cold. It's getting a little cold. Um, sun's down. I need to go make me a little meal and just uh, enjoy nature. You got the river flowing right now. You ain't gonna beat it. Got my feet in the water. S uh, sipping on some of this uh, mocktail. What more can you ask for? You know? Episode 7, guys. Welcome to Episode 7 of the podcast, What We talk About. Um, respect is taught at home. If your kids are disrespectful, little shit, it's your fault. <laughs> okay? Um, not society, not music, not video games yours right and that's very true you know what I mean um, the kids these days they act the way they act and um, do the things they do you know what I mean people will, people like to blame it on this and that maybe it does got a little bit of this and that whatever right but majority is from the parents you know what I mean we, we you know what I mean we teach them we raise them and stuff like that if you don't care about your kids, if you're not involved with your kid's life and stuff like that, guess what? You know what I mean? I'm not saying all, but majority, they're going to be just a loose cannon doing what they want, you know what I mean, and stuff like that, because they never have the love or whatever the case is, and it's just, that's what it is, you feel what I'm saying? And pretty much, they're going to act crazy and dis disrespectful, um, no manners, and just, um, you know what I mean? It's just bad little kids doing bad things. You know what I mean? And like I said, if the parents is messed up, right? If the parents is messed up, guess what? The kids is most likely going to be messed up too. I'm not saying all because there are some messed up parents out there on drugs or whatever the case is. And some, sometimes the kids, is, you know, they're, they're good kids. They grow up to be good people, and good adults, whatever the case is. But there are times where the, kid, the parents is messed up. The, the kids is messed up too, you know what I mean? It's, they, they learn from the parent, you know what I mean? Monkey see, monkey do, and it's just, that's what it is, you know what I mean? So it's like, it, it, it starts from home, you know what I mean? So I try to raise my kid, I try to raise my kid as the best I can, you know what I mean? I try to be in their life, I try to teach them, I try to talk to them, you know, tell them, tell them they can talk to me, I'm there for them. I'm just trying to raise my kid right because I know my mom raised me right, teach me respect and manners, and, you know what I mean, to be a man, to be a good person, you know what I mean? So to me, it's like, I'm trying to do the same for my kids, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's very important, you know what I mean? That we, uh, that we, that we, uh, if we have kids, we take care of our kids and raise them right, you know what I mean? And it goes a long way, you know what I mean? And that's the thing about that, uh, teaching them about life, they can grow up to be good adults and just um, live, live life the right way and not just, you know, it just, that's what it is, you know what I mean? But, um, and there are some cases where kids is like these days, right? They're on social media, video games, and, um, you know what I mean? Uh, music or whatever the case is. That does play a role too, because, you know, these music these days, rap or whatever the case is, you got these kids listen, listen to the music, and they're smoking weed, they're drinking, and stuff of that nature, and they act up, and, you know what I mean? And the drug is, the drug is killing the kids too, so, you know, it's a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? But I believe if you raise them right, you teach them, and you show them, then most likely um, they won't go that route, you know what I mean? And they're probably going to be, you know, like me. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not an angel. I'm not the perfect kid. I made some mistakes in my life that I'm not proud of, but I learned and I grew out of that, you know? To me, it's like I was once, you know, smoking, drinking, um, you know what I mean, getting acting up, acting crazy, you know, loose cannon, you know what I mean, I, you know what I mean, but I always had respect, you know what I mean, I always had manners, I, I always respect my elders, you know what I mean, um, but it's just what it is, but look, look how I came out, not so bad, right, I mean, I changed my ways, I changed my way to be a better person, because, and I think mostly if it was just from me drinking, guys. You know what I mean? Like I said, I love to drink. If you know me, 
If you know me, I love to drink. I would never say no. I've been drinking my whole life, um, smoking my whole life, smoking weed. You know what I mean? I'm not ashamed of it. You know what I mean? It's something that I went through uh, when I was like 16 or 17. You know, I love to smoke weed. I love to drink. You know, I love to do that kind of stuff. And you know, it, it's a uh, it's just what it is, you know what I mean? And I've been doing it for so long, I just recently give myself, I just recently stopped for seven months now. So, you know what? That's a long time, if you ask me, to be high and drunk, you know? And there was, there, there was like years where I just did it every day for a few years back in the past, so, you know what I mean? So it's like, I was messed up, you know what I mean? I mean, I was sober here and there, but I was messed up, you know what I mean? And I'm glad that I really snapped out of that, guys, and just and just uh, changed my life around. You know what I mean? Because I'm not gonna lie, it's like it was crazy. What you know how it came to me and for me to make the change. But they say better, um, you know, better now than never, right? You know what I mean? So it's like you know I'm glad I made the change and I feel great. And I do recommend people to um, take a break from it, man. Take a break, detox, um, you know what I mean, from smoking and drinking, because you, you really don't need it, to be honest, you know what I mean? I mean, I thought I thought I needed it, you know what I mean? I'm not going to lie, guys. I am not ashamed to talk about it. But um, I felt like I needed, um, I felt like I needed alcohol, you know what I mean, to be um, to be loose enough to, to show, socialize and stuff like that with people, to have more confidence, you know what I mean? It's like... Cause it does, right? You drinking, you know. You, I mean, it's like you loose enough. You don't care. You doing whatever, you know. It's just like that's what it does. And I'm not knocking anybody that does it, cause I was once there in my life. Felt like I needed all the time to go parties, to go to the club, birthdays, vacation, you name it. I am a drinker. You know, I drink a lot, and I passed out so many times in my life. I cannot count. And uh, for me to still to still be here right now talking to you guys, you know what I mean? Um, that's crazy. You know what I mean? So to me, it's like, you know, because I could have been gone, I could have been dead the way I was drinking. I was drinking like a fish. You know what I mean? And that's crazy. And smoking weed too, and all that kind of stuff. So for me to change my ways and change my life around now, guys, to the point where I don't need it, amazing. A beautiful feeling you know and it's just crazy because I'm drinking mocktail now you know what I mean if you would have told me a few years ago that drink a mocktail I'd be like you crazy you know give me the give me something to drink drink you know I'm trying to get bugged I'm trying to get messed up and my problem was like I never drink just to socialize I drink to get messed up I want to get wasted I wanted to get butt ugly I don't know what my problem was I had an issue guys you know what I mean? I love to drink so much that I drink till I pass out. Like, it was never enough. You know, like, you know, I, I, just, I didn't have a limit. You know what I mean? It's like, I like it so much, I drink till I passed out. And it's just, it's, it's, it's not a good look. You know what I mean? So, to me, I'm glad that I snapped out of that. And, you know what I mean? Just to, um, and I ain't gonna lie, I see life more clearly, clearer, clearer, clearer. Can't even talk right, but, uh. You know, and it's just uh, it's a breath of fresh, a breath of fresh air, guys, just for the change. I do recommend people, um, you know, I mean, try to try to take a break from it, let your body rest, let your body heal. You know what I mean? And I tell people that I quit drinking and smoking 99 percent, y'all, 99 percent, not 100 percent, 99 percent, because. I'm giving myself one whole year to heal, right? No drugs, no 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 weed. I, I don't want to call it drugs. No drinks and no no marijuana, no weed, whatever it is, right? For a whole year. After one year, I will consider a beer, a cocktail, maybe a little puff puff pass. But that's about it, guys. I am not going back to my old ways. No, sir. We're not doing that no more. Nope, I am not getting hammered. I am not drinking until I pass out. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not doing that no more. I'm done with that. That was the old me, and um, 
you know what? It's just that was a chapter of my life, the way I was drinking. I can never go back there again. There's no way, no way to drink till I'm passed out. Because, like I said, we drink crazy. You know what I mean? 10, 12 shots and beers. and You know, we drink till we get messed up. And I just can't. I just can't see myself doing that no more, you know what I mean? I am done, but like I said, I quit 900%, and I don't need it. I don't need it, but like I said, after a year, you know what I mean? If I happen to be in like on vacation, if I have to be on vacation, I might just want me a little cocktail, you know what I mean? A little mojitos, a little Bahama Mamas, um, you know what I mean? A beer, whatever the case is, and that's about it one maybe two I don't think I'm doing three I just can't do that no more. I just can't I just can't see myself just getting wasted wasted that's just not me I just you know what I mean like I'm done not knock anybody that does it you do what you gotta do but as for me no I can't I can't I can no longer do that you know what I mean like I just like I said that's a, th that's where I'm at with it you know what I mean so but no guys um thank you guys for watching the um the show the podcast, what we talking about, man, episode seven. Um, yes, sir. Uh, please don't forget to go like, subscribe. If you um, like, you know, if you like what I'm doing. If you don't, it's all good. You know what I mean? Um, it's all love anyways. You did what I'm saying. You know, really appreciate you guys just watching it. You know what I mean? That's good enough for me, like, like I said. But if you guys do like the video, you guys do like the content, you know what I mean? Go ahead and subscribe and, you know, and hit the notification bell and stuff like that, you know what I mean? I don't know. Oh, it'll make a difference for me, you know what I mean? It, may, uh, it means a lot, you dig what I'm saying? But um, until the next episode, guys, take care of yourself, love yourself, um, love, peace, and happiness. Yes, sir, we clocking out.